today we have a big V8 power stroke diesel and this engine has a squeaking grinding noise coming from the front of the engine yeah as you can see on the diagram we have a nine components plus belt involved and uh, let's do our best try to diagnose the sound and do the repairs okay engine started engine is idling and as you can hear we have a squeaking grinding bit noise and just by listening, I would say that's most likely one of the idler pulley bearings. Okay, let's just uh, take a closer look. And uh, we have uh, quite a few components involved. And um, try to hear where that sound is coming. And that is a good idler pulley. That's where I hear most of the sound, but not quite sure. Let's use a soapy water. I'm using Windex and spray on the belt and that sound will go away. What we are doing, we're adding a little bit of lubricant to the belt and will prevent a slippage of the belt. And as you can see, it's quiet now, but a few seconds later, sound came back. Might be our belt worn out slightly or stretched, but it's not always the case. We have to take a belt off and check the bearings as well. Yeah, let's get started and uh, see what we'll find. I will show you everything I know and if I did something wrong or have any concerns, critics, suggestions or you know the better way, let me know. Let's do a little bit more diagnosis because we still don't know we have a problem only with a worn out stretched belt or maybe one of the bearings are on the way out and uh, I ordered all components I might possibly need. This is a tensioner, IC Delco, it's not OEM, came with a bolt. We have a smooth pulley, four seasons, there is a part number and IC Delco groove pulley as well. Yeah, there's a part number made in Canada and I have IC Delco serpentine belt. Okay. Let's dive in and see what's happening here. Alternator was replaced at 257,000 kilometers, which is 5,000 kilometers ago last year, not long time ago. Okay, I'm suspecting just a stretch worn out belt. As you could see when I sprayed the soapy soapy, that squealing's sound was gone but then in a minute or so it came back let's take a look on our accessories drilling belt components diagram if you look here we have that factory routing diagram for the two alternators and one alternator 60 power strokes you can see we have one which is single alternator, not dual. And uh, this will give us a visual idea what components can cause the problem or it could be just a belt. We don't know yet, but I think it's not only belt because we heard that grinding sound, which possibly could be one of the bearings. Okay, the single alternator belt routing system. We have nine items on this diagram and idler smooth one belt tensioner at the bottom pulley and fan pulley they're smooth not grooved rest of the pulleys they run on inside of the belt only those three they run on outside of the belt and they're smooth okay Here's our tensioner and this bad boy lives over here. Let me turn the light on, you can see better a bit. Here we go. Yeah, here's our belt tensioner. First, let's release the tension. Check the components. What I mean, just check the bearings. Make sure bearings are still intact. And uh, go from there, okay? Let's visual inspect the belt i don't see any cracks across the belt which is acceptable and uh, we don't have any cracks longwise 
yeah belt looks just fine but sometimes you have worn out grabbing grooves and the belt will start making the noise when it runs on a pulley there you go let's dive in i hope you can see down there there's a metal clip this bad boy on the bottom see this guy we're going to pull the belt out and this clip should lock the tensioner in a released position okay show you how to do it let me set my camera okay let's pull the belt and the tensioner should get locked the belt all right our belt tension is released we are going to inspect our bearings by the way you also can use a half inch ratchet or breaking bar put it here and release the tension even the alternator is new it's not OEM it's rebuilt let's Remove the belt from the alternator and check our alternator. The axle play, no play on the bearings. Usually, tiny little bearing on the back will wear out first than front one. So far, no issues with it alternator bearing let's go down to smooth idler bearing here belt is off let's spin it and it's quiet let's check the play here's a barely any play on a bearing yeah it's turning it's spinning but it's not dry i can tell you this bearing is still fine it's not new but it's not worn out okay this one's fine let's spin the bottom one belt tensioner has two pulleys upper one grooved one let's spin this one and as you can see it stops almost right away and this bearing is fine let's check the play and there's no any play you can spin for a few turns, that's fine, but you don't want to hear any of that grinding dry noise. All right, we have one more on the very bottom of the tensioner. I'm going to remove the belt from the bottom smooth idler pulley and check that bearing, okay? I have serpentine belt pulled off the bottom tensioner pulley which is a smooth pulley as you can see there and um, let's uh, spin that pulley see how it's spinning and um, check for a play okay actually it doesn't have any play yeah, and it's it's quiet I don't hear any grinding noise. I listened carefully there. Just by listening when engine was running, I heard more grinding kind of squealing sound coming from the driver's side of the engine, which is idler pulley and power steering pump. We don't worry about power steering pump or fan. We are concerned more about idler pulley number two, which is grooved one. Let's take a look and check. Okay, this pulley is right under the thermostat housing let's check for play here we go there's a tons of play on this grooved idler pulley bearing compared to the rest of the pulley this one is absolutely worn out yeah making some light grinding noise too 
we'll uh, yeah we'll replace this pulley and uh, let's uh, put a new belt as well I would say so to me so far this upper idler smooth pulley this guy and idler is okay I'm not going to touch them at the moment and uh, we're going to replace the grooved idler pulley on a driver's side for now and uh, put a new belt now you know and uh, <laughs> I like to get to the repair easy as possible removing less components as necessary and uh, think ahead a couple steps I, I hope it makes sense <laughs> yeah I watch the internet there's uh, multiple ways to do the same thing and um, yeah first let's pull the belt out completely and uh, it's not difficult to do well almost halfway out let's go under the truck on this truck probably some shields are missing it came like that i have no idea looks like this part is broken anyway on your truck it might be different let's just get this belt off crank pull it nice okay i've been here we go our steering is free and now nice we can pull our belt out okay let's oh we get oh stuck on i learned a little bit here we go no problem whatsoever easy that's a long belt looks pretty new but it's deeply grooved you can see some little bit of wear on grooves itself and yeah, no cracks across which some of are acceptable a little bit and no cracks along the belt itself well we're going to put a new one we don't know when this belt was replaced and who did it we have a green one from Isidelka. let's uh, replace this grooved pulley with this belt to remove the grooved idler pulley we need a 15 mil wrench bent down like this to get to the bolt okay let's see where is our bolt and yeah here we go nice and easy be careful with this tiny little coolant line from the upper radiator tank to the expansion reservoir those fittings can easily break as you can see this one already was broken and fixed don't lean on it okay i have my wrench and the bolt let's break it loose there we go nice and easy so far off the camera it took me roughly five minutes oh yeah let's spin it i'm not touching yeah it's enough to make it sound loud that grinding noise even if we spray the soapy water it slow down that squeaking noise from the belt but grinding noise in this pool is still there it can be a little bit confusing to get a hundred percent if the belt or pool somebody you spray it sounds good but there's a different type of noises okay this pulley is going to be replaced for sure and i have a feeling that this pulley right at the top smooth one will need to be addressed pretty soon even if it's not that bad compared to our grooved one might as well let's pop new one in and forget about it and then we know two pulleys are new and should be fine 
yeah even if it's still maybe okay for some time for a few thousand kilometers so let's put a new one easy for now saving the time new pulley new bell same 15 mil this one's much easier way more room to get to the bolt let's break it loose yeah good all right and then we know there's two pulleys are new okay I remove that bolt the rest of the way and this video is only demonstration how I do it there's a, so many different ways to do the same thing if you go and watch the YouTube it still has some life left but we'll put a new one anyway this smooth idler pulley we just removed and this is a replacement one I transfer the bolt from the original pulley into a replacement one and uh, this is a four seasons and visually as you can see this one is smaller let's uh, measure new one so three inches and this one is three and a half hmm i think we should have enough uh, play on a tensioner to keep belt tight on this pulley because this one is auto market it's not oem but it supposed to be for 60 power stroke and uh, replaces uh, this OEM one hmm and I don't have uh, other option right now and uh, we'll put this one in it's yeah it's relatively easy to do it and uh, yeah we'll install this pulley installation is in reverse opposite to removal if you looked on a bolt it's no any Loctite was used from the factory because it screws into the aluminum housing and we don't need it if you looked on a bolt there's uh, no any sign of Loctite used and it screws into that aluminum part of the front cover and uh, yeah let's go and install the new pulley and make sure it's not cross threading just go a few threads by hand make sure it's going in properly straight you can feel it how it's easy going in okay i have a few threads already started now i'm going to grab my branch and get this pulley installed go to another one same way and uh, yeah tie them up should be good i just started this pulley very important part of it just make sure you keep this bolt straight because pulley will try to lean down and if you cross thread it that's a big problem yeah keep it up like this straight and uh, turn that bolt with your ratchet make sure your bolt is not going on the angle otherwise it will be a bad day yeah i have a few threads already started and um, we're good that's good enough it's tight beautiful okay both pulleys are installed if you're wondering about the uh, torque specs for tensioner to for the idler pulleys whatever i will put a link down in the description below yeah check it out if you need it before putting a new belt let's blow all that crap which you can see on a pulleys with a compressed air make sure it's clean cleaning is one of the most important parts of any repair keep good working ethic up and uh, let's check our water pump pulley I don't see any play on hub. Let's spin it. Doesn't sound to me like worn out bearing. Bearing doesn't have any play. I think that sounds just a fan catching on something a little bit okay we'll leave this 
quarter pound bearing for now I don't think that's a problem to me it looks perfectly fine so far and uh, yeah here's our IC Delco belt we're going to use as a replacement for the belt on 6 o power stroke single alternator clearance no room to film anything we have done i will show you on a diagram and then we'll jump and uh, check what's already on a pulleys okay this part this part is done the first part of the pulleys first we did we pushed the belt all the way down went around the crank pulley then we pulled all slack what was remaining get around the fan pulley then upper part of the belt we got fed over the idler pulley groove number one and down around the power steering and as you can see here smooth idler pulley one and get belt over the alternator okay but we still have to go behind this smooth tensioner pulley down around the alternator AC compressor pulley sorry and uh, grooved idler and up to the alternator that's a kind of last part I would say it's not difficult I know my belt got a little bit dirty all that dirt and grease from the engine block we'll get it cleaned later don't worry about it okay try not to twist your belt keep it straight much as possible otherwise you will run out you will run into the problem and twisting a belt and as you can see there is literally no room after talking to a friend of mine we decided to replace the tensioner as well well wasn't necessary but yeah might as well let's put all new components new belt that's will take care of that problem here's the tensioner we just remove Two 10 millimeter bolts. This one we're reusing on the new one. And, yeah. The bolt. Yeah, let's um, get a belt behind the smooth idler, put a tension in, tie the bolts, release the tension, and uh, we should be good. New belt is installed, <laughs> new tensioner, new idler, a new another idler, grooved and smooth ones. And uh, yeah, originally we just came with the idea to replace the belt probably one either but might as well yeah let's get all new components then we don't have to worry about the same thing in the next few years i hope so those not only m ones might last not the same time as the new ones from the dealer and uh, before starting the truck let's go and check the alignment of all pulleys just let's check the belt alignment on a grooved pulleys on a smooth pulleys make sure everything's in place same on this side my belt is a little bit looking dirty uh, lots of oil uh, that weld cover the front cover is a little bit greasy kind of dirty yeah, my gloves are not clean too, but we'll clean the belt. Uh, ta -da -da -da. Yeah, everything looks good. I'm ready to pull that pin out and um, yeah, we should be good. Yeah, we'll go underneath, check the belt alignment on a crank pulley and uh, we should be good. Our uh, belt is in grooves, aligned on a crank, on a power steering. AC compressor over there, all looks good and we are ready to pull the tensioner pin and uh, start the truck. Aftermarket tensioner is ridiculous. I cannot get my half inch ratchet or braking bar to get into that square hole on that outer part of the tensioner because it's straight. Gosh, that's insane. If you looked on the OEM one, it has a step here. As you see here, you can put your ratchet and take your tension off. On the auto market, it's straight. And it's literally is no room, no clearance to 
get anything to release the pin and pull it out. Oh my goodness. That's getting intense. I'm fighting with this thing and don't buy those stupid auto market tensioners. They're not worse. So the, all that time and pain. Oh yeah. Oh no. There we go. Oh. Uh, my belt slipped the tooth. Okay. <laughs> Finally got the pin out. Tension is set. Belt is in place. All in the grooves before cranking the engine over. Let's do the final check. There we go. All good there. Yeah. Good on this pulley. Beautiful. Alternator is in place. Groot tensioner pulley. Bottom one is smooth. Easy compressor. Let's go underneath. Here. Crank and power steering. Beautiful. Ooh. Look at that. All dirt and grease. All right. Moment of truth. I clean all the tools. Ever since checked twice, let's crank the engine over. <laughs> That's it for today. I hope this video is helpful. If it is, put a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we diagnosed the problem and ended up <laughs> replacing two idlers and a tension and a belt, which is I think is reasonable. That way, you know your truck is good to go for for a long time, and uh, we'll keep you updated. And uh, yeah, I have more videos on uh, six o power stroke. High pressure oil system, troubleshooting diamond plugs, alternator, charging system, fuel filters, uh, oil change, and how to push the air from the system, and much, much, much more. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for your time again, and see you soon. Take care and bye bye.